Greetings. I am Professor Park chang of Hanyang University Hospital Vaxilo Oral Facial Department. I'm going to provide a lecture on basic master course and I'm going to talk about anatomy for implants. Anatomy for implants. I've thought long and hard as to what I'm going to discuss. I'm going to talk about anterior loop of mental nerve. I'm sure you've heard of it before. As the inferior alveolar nerve progress, superiorly it becomes mental nerve and below that there is incisive nerve. Upon bifurcation, the mental nerve forms a loop, and this is referred to as anterior loop, and I'm sure you're all aware of this very well. If you do a dissection on cadaver, there is distinct epineuriums found in incisive nerve and mental nerve. So it's easier to define the length of anterior loop. In the premolar area or anterior to premolar area, when you place implant, it is important that we do not invade upon anterior loop. As shown here from the anterior border of mental foramen, if you set safety distance, then you'll be able to place it safely on x-ray. As you can see, there is an inferior alveolar nerve and mental foramen, and there is a loop. And this is something that we're all well aware of. In general, safety distance is 4 millimeters. In 2011, in Journal of Maxillofacial Facial Surgery, there was a literature that was published. I was placing implants a lot these days, and I was finding it very interesting, and this literature was very shocking. This study raised the question whether the anterior loop actually existed. What this study is arguing is that the anterior loop is non-existent and is only visible on x-ray. It was quite shocking. As shown here, as the inferior alveolar nerve progresses, this part goes towards the incisive nerve, and it does not form a loop, but it forms a straight line and passes through mental nerve. The result of this study was quite shocking in that the anterior loop did not exist. Knowledge and anatomy is garnered over a significant period of time, and there are rarely any new findings. Amidst such a background, I was quite shocked of this new finding. And that is why I wanted to inform you of this. Interior loop is missing according to this study, and this study targeted Caucasians, and in most cases, interior loop was not found, and even if it did exist, it was around 0 0.5 millimeters, so it was a far short of 3 millimeters. After reading this study, I wanted to look at a study about Korea. This was a study done by Fudun, and it was also about mental nerve and anterior loop. It was published in JOMS in 2008 or 2007. If you look at this study, about 31 cadavers were dissected. If you look at the results, in 61.5% of the time, for Koreans, there was the loop. 
For Koreans, the loop existed 61.5% of the time. So you can see that there is difference in data of Westerners. In placing implant from the mental foramen's interior border, there needs to be safety distance in consideration of the interior loop. According to this study, the average is 1.74 and the maximum value was 2.63. Therefore, in this case, how much safety distance do we need? The recommendation of this study is 30 millimeters. Let's look deeper into data about Koreans. This was a study done by you. This was published in Anatomy and Cell Biology. This was published in 2015. If you look at this, 26 cadavers were dissected. What is interesting is that the percentage of male was larger between male and female. The overall age was 54.4. Please remember this. According to this study, if you look at the research done on the mental nerves interior loop of Koreans, also in the study, it says that the loop existed. Incisive nerve, mental nerve loop, it seems to exist. From the anterior border of mental foramen, the safety distance is about 3.0 on average based on anatomical dissection. This has increased the maximum value as 5.18. The safety distance in order to avoid it we need to have 6 millimeters of safety distance when placing implant. Let's summarize. The cadaver dissection studies, what they say in common is that use of periapical and panoramic radiographs has no value. Is cadaver more accurate or x-ray? Cadaver is more accurate. The length of anterior loop shown in periapical or panoramic images, what is shown in the cadavers tend to be smaller. Anterior loop tended to be longer for younger patients or male patients, and especially in Asians. This is the common result. There were two data on Koreans. When looking at the two data about Koreans, the cadavers that showed the longer anterior loop turned out to be younger, and the percentage of male was higher. I would like to emphasize once again, and when placing implant, the safety distance in order to avoid nerves, you should not just follow blindly, but depending on different individuals, it should be set differently rather than just blindly going with three or four millimeters. I think this should be emphasized. It is different by patient, and especially Koreans among Asians tended to have anterior loop, but the standards vary. When you do surgery in relation to anterior loop, when placing implant, you need to know about these. These anatomical knowledge is invaluable. Today, we have discussed online anatomy for implant placement. If you're interested in specific, please register in basic master course offline to be able to get more idea and hands-on practice. I look forward to seeing you there. Thank you for watching.